What is going on trainers and welcome back to some more competitive Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC here on the channel. In today's video we are going to use probably what people thought was going to be the most powerful restricted Pokemon in Regulation G, Calyrex Shadow Rider. So today's team will be consisting of a Tornadus with the Cobra Cloak, Urshifu with Mystic Water, Indeedee with Psyching Seed, obviously the Calyrex uh, Shadow Rider with the Focus Sash which is my personal uh, favorite um, item for it right now at the moment. Default me with the booster energy and HGU with the life orb. So this team is actually looking very very solid in my opinion and um, if you want to give it a go on the double rank ladder and see what you can do with this team then make sure to check out our Rensicle down in the description below or on the top right hand corner here of the screen. And as always if you have a team you want me to feature in a future video then make sure you leave me that Rensicle down in the comment section below and I will make sure to make a video about it. So I think without further ado, let's get into the first matchup and actually see if this Calyrex Shadow Rider is as powerful as people believe it to be. Alright, so here we're going up against the opposite Calyrex with being the Ice Rider, Pelipper, Raging Bolt, Rillaboom, Incin, and of course a um, Urshifu itself. So honestly... Probably looking at a trick room team somehow. So what I'm thinking is probably leading. Yeah, probably leading this. Uh, we could just go straight off, couldn't we? That wouldn't really matter too much, would it? Or should we actually just lead? Yeah, I think we need this. And then... You don't look great in some a lot here, unfortunately. You do, however, and then I think you do that. I could bring Chiyu, but I don't know about it with rain and stuff, and I need something to be able to. Um, I, I need to make sure that basically it doesn't rain because Pelipper is going to be a very very strong asset here for him and um, so uh okay let's see what we can do here lead here is the most important thing rage for raging bolt okay uh so if it's choice scarf we are kind of cooked he will be faster unless i go for to go follow me and uh, expanding force. Because if I do so, we will redirect. I think that's what I want to do. I think that's what I, I could. I mean, Astral Barrage is going to hit hard as well, isn't it? Let's do this and do this. Yeah. I think that's. Our best option here because if he is choice scarf he is gonna go before the rageable protect is actually fine and then follow me now let's see here who is faster us or them okay so very very um very very good that we went for follow me because i didn't want to break our sash on just that the question is who comes in I wonder who that is. It is going to be Pelipper. And that is just dead annoying. Because Pelipper is going to do wide guard next turn most likely. And I can't really do much about it. Yeah. So here's what I'm thinking. Protect on here. Which in like this. And then let's see. What he is up to. I'm hoping for Thunderbolt into my Calyrex slot and a White Guard. That would be very, very nice. But let's see. White Guard. Thank you. That's okay with me, White Guard. And then... Thunderbolt. Okay, this is actually a great turn for us. Because we can now go for a Shadow Ball. And 
and a tailwind on it. We can just go for a tailwind. Yep, why well, got this fine, and then tailwind. Um, most likely gonna go for thunderbolt again into the Calric slot, which is fine by me. But if we get the wide guard user out of the way, that is what I am looking most into. And then, of course, we still protect it, so he can use any priority move, so he won't have any chance of being faster than us at the moment. Uh, and that I am extremely happy about. Oh, it doesn't even take us down to Sash, but... So what up? So Calyrex comes out, which means he doesn't have Riddle Boom, which means he can't change the terrain. Which is incredible for us. Okay. So what I'm thinking... I just think of Dressalizing, Astral Barrages, and I just think Bleak One because we can't miss in rain. And let's be real here. If he Terrestrializes into Grass, he's gonna get cooked because of Bleak One and Barrage. But if he doesn't, he's gonna get cooked by Barrage anyway. And I'm not sure how much this is gonna deal into the Raging Bowl, but hopefully he's gonna deal a good chunk of damage. That's what I was scared of. That is what I was scared of. Astro Barrage comes out. This is what's going to decide if we win this game. I'm pretty sure because I need to... Need to KO. But it probably won't. Oh my god, it might. And then Bleak Wind. Oh my god. This might actually be a very good play from us. Okay, and down go Raging Bolt. That was probably one of the biggest threats... And at the moment, we're still in a very, very good spot, I would say. We still have the Imprisoned user in the back. Um, Urshifu as well, we are faster. So this is actually looking very good for us here. We just hit Astro Barrages again. And Bleak One again. So I think we're looking in a very, very, very good spot here. Because um, even though he has Choice Scarf, this is why I Tailwind that one turn. Because that means we will be faster with Calyrex Shadow Rider now. Which is what I wanted. He can't use the um, Aqua Jet because we will be faster. What are you? Because you are Terra Water. That's a bit annoying. I won't lie. I was hoping for grass. I was really hoping for grass here. At least I want Astro Barrage do here. How much damage are we dealing? I think crit mattered. I'm not gonna lie. But we're definitely taking it like we're taking the win in the first matchup of today's video. And this just shows the power of how strong Elric Shadow Rider actually can be. So we're definitely taking that. Wow. That was that was pretty good. Let's jump into the next one. Alright, so here we're going up against the Miraidon team with the Latios on. Interesting. And Whimsicott, Trigraph, Chio, and a Iron Hands. Okay. This is definitely interesting. I don't think we're looking at Trick Room, so I definitely think we lead like this. Trying to look, what do we lead with? I mean, we can just lead like this. We could lead like this too. In fact, I think we will. Have you in the back, and probably next to you. Yep, I think this is what we do. While we put some chapstick on as well. So I was considering bringing Chiyu just for pure damage, but I honestly think bringing in Didi as a support Pokemon is a bit of choice here for us. Um, but I guess only time will tell. So it's going to be Whimsicott Chiyu lead. Okay. So we are going to have the speed advantage. Uh, no matter what. Which is fine. Unless they go for taunt, but like, why would they have taunt on this, my thing? They're probably gonna, not boom, they're probably gonna tailwind. This is a risk. Light screen? I didn't even know Whimsicott got light screen. Alright, I wasn't expecting that. Moon last. Yeah, that light screen was definitely needed. Heatwave connects. 
That does a lot of damage, a little too much to my liking, and we miss. Of course. Yeah, of course we miss. Alright, at least we got the speed drop. Go for Tailwind. And... I believe it's Flying Fairy? Yeah, no, Grass Fairy. Um... I just feel like he's not going to... I think this is too obvious, isn't it? Maybe it's not? Coming from you as well? Yep. Okay, maybe it wasn't too obvious, but we're probably going to lose both mons here. The Moonblast, unless we get a crit. Oh, so close. That was so close. I guess this opens up for you the fact that we can I guess we can one hit KO it or not one hit KO it I guess we can just finish it off here with Calyrex because we are gonna need it now we're definitely gonna need this for sure so alright and light screen is probably gonna be up for another three turns or so isn't great but if we do get a plus two we will be looking very good here i just want to make sure i don't break my dash okay so what i'm i'm gonna do this but i am scared of him having if he has icy wind that would be awful that would be the worst case scenario but i really don't hope that so who comes in here? Maridon? The hands come in. Okay, so both comes in. So we should, should have gone for the helping hand. But, um... Ah, that's okay. Now we're in a tough spot in terms of... A lot of stuff, unfortunately. I mean, at this point, the only thing we can do is realistically just go as a barrage. Crazy. And look how little damage that actually does. Uh, yeah, it's my only chance of winning, so I'm going to do what I have to do. Just spam... As a barrage and uh, spam, spam with helping hands. I don't think it'll work, but let's see how powerful this Calyrex actually is through a light screen. Without light screen, we would be looking very solid here, but we aren't out of it, so we're not looking too solid. Okay, as a barrage, how much damage we're dealing? This is gonna be crucial. Give me that. Give it to me. Come on. That's my right on gone. And I'm loving that. That is absolutely beautiful. Get a Grimnage. And I think that should be enough to take down maybe the um, hands. And let's see who comes in. It's going to be Chiyu. I don't know why you're bringing Chiyu. So let's just rain tell one. I don't know. If you have Protect, I don't know exactly what you're doing here. But, it's going to be Helping Hand. And it's just going to be an Astro Barrage. Let's see if Kelrick Shadow Rider can actually just mess this whole team up, team up and solo it by itself. Um, this would be quite incredible. I mean, we're through. We're still in Night Screen, so... Helping Hand. Okay. See if it is a Protect coming from Chiyu. It's fast. It's faster? That means there's a choice scarf. That means there's a choice scarf Chiyu. Oh my goodness. I don't know if we KO anymore. Okay, we do. That's pretty important. That was your choice scarf Chiyu. I did not expect that. And that snarl could have been way more difficult. 
to say the least, but we are plus two. Tailwind's gone, so is their Tailwind. The light screen is also gone, and they only have a a um a uh, a whimsic card left. So I'm just gonna follow me here and I'm trying to take down this this whimsic card. So let's see. Battle was cancelled. We take another dub, and actually, this Celtic Shadow Rider is proving itself to be probably the strongest. Pokemon in regulation G format right now because holy cow, this thing just soloed this entire team. I thought when we had only the Indeedee and Calyrex Shadow Rider left that that was it. I thought we were gone, but clearly this thing once again showed up and we got another win, so can't really complain about it. All right, so now we're going up against what some people, including myself, at least right in the beginning of this regulation, thought to be the best. Um. Restricted, I really enjoyed playing with Summer Sense in the beginning, so I have very much respect for it, and it pretty much walls me. Uh, so this is going to be difficult with the Moltres as well. Galarian one, interesting. Plotomane, uh, Chin Pao, Raging Bolt, and a Rillaboom. So this is going to prove to be itself a very tough matchup, I think so. What I'm thinking is honestly leading this. I'm probably just going to leave this in the bag again. The thing is, I do need the... I actually do need to bring Chiyu, because Chiyu is my only real answer to the the, the Summer Center. So, I guess this guy know that if he gets taken down the Chiyu, it's pretty much game over for me. So, I really need to be careful here, and definitely need the Chiyu for sure. But we have a chance to win, and let's see. Oh, I love the music, though. Oh yeah, this mission is great. That's gonna be in the mood. Yeah, let's go Tailwind. Probably thinking it's gonna be some sort of protect from it. Yep. Okay, fine. We went with protect as well. That's very good. We want protect as well, and then I wonder what the Moltres is actually gonna do. I'm gonna get Sunny Day out, which is pretty decent in terms of what I'm gonna do after. Oh, he is gonna just blow with the Tailwind himself. There. We will do the exact same thing, but we will. You know, screw it. Let's go for Overheat. And let's see what he is up to. Oh, female character, never mind. I, I guess she knows that if... If I... I mean, they know I have to try and take down Summon Center immediately, so they can just make a switch and make it very uh, difficult for me, but... I wonder if they will. It's not like, I don't think, does Galeo Moltres has, have anything that's very powerful into me? What is this, Terra Water? Yup, yeah, it is. I wonder how much overheat is actually going to do then. Especially with the, um, with the sun up. That's what I'm most interested to see. So, uh, so let's see. Discordia, even body press. Never mind, we don't even get to do it. The far summer center. Hmm. Yuri Wrath. Chaos. Oh, it doesn't. Okay. That's a far summer center. Look. I respect it. I respect that. If I do this. And I do this because they're probably gonna carry wrath and protect. So we do this. 
Because I assume Protect and Sama is going to come out. But never mind, it's going to be a white god. Uh, yeah. Sama pretty much walls Hellrake Sh Shadow Rider. And I hate it, but... Ugh. What am I going to do? Fury Wrath. Yeah, that thing pretty much just destroys me. What am I going to do? Because I don't... Oh. Um, we actually survived. I mean, I have to try again. Rest of ice. Can't even. I can't even hit this that Pokemon. I can't even hit it. Ugh, this is so bad, isn't it? Why, oh God, it's just gonna wall me from here on. Yeah, I expected it to be difficult. I really expected it to be difficult. Because... Thama is just so strong. And... It's so hard to deal with it. Especially when you have a Calderic Shadow Rider. And especially when I just lost my, uh... Shiyu in a... Yeah, that's a... It's a, it's a fast summer, and I... Didn't expect it to be fast. Usually, the, I expect it to be bulky, actually. But I don't think this is gonna be enough. Good damage, it's not enough. However, Helping Hand is enough. And that's what I'm thinking. Because that right there is going to put me... It doesn't put me down all the way. Yeah. It could just be Protect Tailwind. I'm not gonna lie. I think I have to play a crazy play here. And I will try that. So there will be a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on the back foot. Really on the back foot. This is... I think this might be my only way of winning. If he white guides now, it's over pretty much. Not pretty much, it is over. Um, but yeah, it's worth giving it a try. Let's see. Maybe I'm not as crazy as people think. Let's see. As a barrage? This might actually KO. And it will give me a plus one. Let's see. Come on. KO it. Dama is down. It's a little bit too late for that, I think, but... It's, it, we're trying. We're trying. I don't think we're going to be able to wall his whole team with this. I just don't think so. Unfortunately. Um, yeah, ex yeah, especially because we can't really hit this Galarian Moltres. Yeah, Umbrella coming in. So priority moves is a, is a thing now. I mean, I have to try. I, have to, I could follow me, but I have to. I have to try this. This is, it, it's it's the only way I have a chance of winning. He's gonna grassy. Yeah. Is it gonna KO? That's what I was afraid of. Well, that means we're taking an L in game three. And to be fair, he was on the back foot quite early on. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think we showcased some pretty well Pokemon today, and actually showed how strong this Calyrex. Shadow Rider is. Just not when it goes up against the Summer Sensor, but, um... Yeah, I hate to do it. I have to quit the battle, unfortunately, but, um... Yeah. This team pretty much was a bad matchup for us from the very early beginning. Alright, so that is the three matches as in a video as per usual, and to be fair, this, this Calyrex Shadow Rider is no joke, man. It is incredibly strong. Um, it's an incredible team. Uh, I really like playing with it. I would say Summer Center did cause some trouble. Especially Water Summer Center is not something that is very easy to deal with for this team. But yeah, the two other matches, we absolutely, Calyrex absolutely destroyed them. So, I mean, you can see how strong this Pokemon actually is. So if you want to check it out yourself and give it a go on the ranked double ladder and you don't have a team or you just want to try out this team because you thought, wow, 
Berg used this team and he was doing pretty well, then make sure to check out the link down in the description below or on the top right hand corner here of the screen. And as always, if you have a team moment to feature in a future video, make sure you leave me that range code down in the comment section below. And yeah, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, smash the thumbs up button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my next video. And then I have nothing left to say, but as always, happy gaming.